Utz Lee Kilcher is a reality television personality who became famous after appearing on Alaska, The Last Frontier on the Discovery Channel and demonstrating his skills as a hunter and fisherman. On August 26, 1977, Atz Lee joined his siblings Jewel, Shane, and Nikos Kilcher into the world. He was born in Alaska to parents, Atz Sr. and Leandra Carroll. Since its premiere on the Discovery Channel on December 29, 2011, the reality TV series Alaska has been one of the network's most watched programs. The show's creators have given viewers an interesting glimpse into another way of life by following the Kilcher family, descendants of Yule and Ruth Kilcher. The Kilcher family avoids using contemporary conveniences, like central heating in favor of farming, hunting, and thorough winter preparation. Otto, Ivan, Atz, Jane, Eve, Bonnie, and Shane are the members of the Kilcher family, and Jewel has made guest appearances. Despite just having three episodes, the show's first season was a smashing success. In October 2012, Alaska returned for 15 additional episodes after receiving overwhelmingly positive reviews. Otto and Atz's ambitious aid expedition to help out their fellow homesteader, despite facing a scarcity of food and the terrible environment, made for a tense season opener. The clan survived the winter and then embarked on spring hunts, ocean fishing expeditions for king salmon and lumber milling while being filmed at every turn. The eccentric Kilchers have kept viewers riveted with their exploits for years. In 2014, when it was nominated for two Emmys, the show was at the height of its popularity. Award of Distinction at the Communicator Awards went to Alaska a few years back. While talking about relationships, Atz Lee and Jane's marriage has been put to the test by the various difficulties and controversies they've had to endure. The pair has been through a lot together, including multiple divorces, near-death experiences, online trolling, and rumors of a split. Jane and Atz first met as kids because they both grew up in close proximity to one other in Homer. Their shared appreciation for music delayed the beginning of their romantic relationship until much later. Before marrying into the Kilcher family, Jane worked as a commercial fisherwoman, while Atz performed professionally with his guitar across the country. In 2006, Atz Lee and Jane Kilcher tied the knot at the mouth of a harbour not far from their hometown of Homer, Alaska. They had a tiny, private ceremony for just immediate relatives and close friends. They did not have any children together, but they were open and accepting of each other's offspring from past relationships. Etienne Kilcher was born to Atzli and his ex-wife, Nantia Crisintu, in 2001. Jane and her ex-husband, Dikran Kasuni, welcomed a daughter, Piper Isolde Kasuni, in 2003. The couple has been married for years, but they've had to deal with persistent rumors that they're getting a divorce. The social media use of Atzli and Jane Kilcher, such as on Instagram and Twitter, is minimal. They would rather keep their private lives under wraps, some of their fans worried that the couple was having marital problems or were hiding something because they weren't active on social media. Online trolls have been very harsh with criticism and hostility toward Atz Lee and Jane Kilcher. Some trolls say they're not real and that the show is scripted while others criticize their physical appearance or the decisions they've made in life. False reports about their separation or extramarital affairs have been disseminated by certain trolls. These rumours, however, are completely false. Despite reports to the contrary, Atz Lee and Jane Kilcher insist they are still very much in love with one another. They've shared their affection for one another on Facebook and other social media sites. They were both injured, but they pulled through and are now stronger than ever. Both of them have experienced life and marriage threatening accidents. In 2015, while trekking, Atz Lee fell from a cliff and fractured more than 20 of his body's bones. It took him a long time to recuperate from the multiple procedures he needed. As he and his wife, Christina Jane, were filming an episode of Alaska in the summer of 2015, they made news when they were accused of using a helicopter to hunt a black bear. The case was placed on hold after Atz Lee was injured in a hiking mishap in Alaska, where it is against the law to use an airplane or helicopter to hunt or see game. After everyone involved 
pled not guilty, the accusations against the Kilchers were dropped, but the production firm was still required to pay a fine of $17,500. Now, talking about their net worth, it's hard to put a precise value on the Kilcher family's wealth, but the Kilchers make well into the six figures for each season of Alaska because to the show's strong ratings and advertising revenue. A passionate fan base has helped the Kilchers earn up to $10,000 per episode, or about $150,000 annually, despite the fact that they aren't the biggest reality stars. The Kilcher brothers, Otto and Atz, are worth $4 million and $6.5 million, respectively, according to credible sources. Jewel, thanks to her singing career, is worth $32 million, and Orianka's net worth is estimated to be close to $100,000. Including the value of the Kilcher's homestead brings their total wealth to $16 million, even without Jewel's contributions. Now to answer the most important question. In a promo for the upcoming season released in October of 2022, Discovery emphasized the need of teaching responsibility to children. It sounds more like Otto is contemplating retirement than the demise of the show. The teaser also highlighted a turning point for the family, as the males had allegedly always led the hunts up until this point when Jane and Eve joined them. The preview looks ahead, and there's no sign that the program is ending, even if it is shifting gears slightly. Discovery explains how the Kilcher's capacity to hunt, keep their animals safe, and cultivate their pasture area has diminished as a result of climate change. So, that's all for today. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for further updates on Alaska, the last frontier.